Wow! There's no way the Chancellor can reach us here, wherever he is. But what is this place? The civilization here seems so advanced, I can tell just by looking at the wall. Like we're in another world! Yes, and maybe we are. Let me check this out. A strange crescent engraved on the door, sealed with mysterious power. Well, that sound cue sounds really familiar. Yeah, let's find out where we are. Step outside. Yeah. Weather's even worse than it was in the Middle Ages. We have no idea where or when we are. But it's nice enough to tell us the name of this Tron Dome. Find some shelter from that storm outside. Got any cash? Uh, yeah. You call this money? Oh well, that's some good stuff. So if you needed to upgrade your equipment from before, this is a good place to do it. Get a second maiden suit for Marl. This is a good time to stock up on potions. I would suggest about 20. High potions, uh, at least 10. Remedies, not necessary. Revivers, a good time to get some of those. And tents. So that'll, that should be enough for now. Save money, it'll do you good. That's my motto. You'll find some food at Aristone to the northeast. If you can get through the city ruins. Beasts there don't react to weapons like guns and swords. Tough going. Truce? Yeah, I've never heard of that dome. This is Tron Dome. If you're looking for food, you lose. Kingdom? What's the kingdom? Uh, what are you talking about? This is an Enerton. You get a full night's sleep in a few seconds, but it still leaves you hungry. Well, free healing is always good. Will you rest in the Enertron? HP and MP restored, but you're still hungry. Well, no other place we can go. Let's head for Aeris Dome. Now where are we? Yeah, see, levels, Chronos at 7, the others are at 6. But I should learn their next text before long. So we're going to do a bit of fighting. Make our way through the city ruins. Those rats will steal potions. If anything, that's a good reason to stock up on extras. Yep, enemies here are a bit more resilient. And of course the creatures with the tentacles go after the girls. But it shouldn't take more than two or three attacks per enemy to kill it. We have a full party. Make good use of them. And there's that butt attack. Crossbow butt. Okay, not bad for experience or tech points. Ignore the rats. Um, uh, one of the tricks speedrunners use is if a rat steals a potion, you can use it, use the text box to skip battle triggers. Uh, craters and carnivores, these are all new. And oh, I can't hit all of them again. But I don't want to hit them with fire, they will counter with fire if I remember correctly. Now, oh, I did mention that Chrono and Marl learned Aura Whirl, and that is the first AoE healing ability you get in the game. Very handy to have. And these guys should go down one more set of attacks. Yeah, no point in healing yourself at full HP. Very nice for tech points. Oh, yep, yeah, stole a potion, that's okay. Oh, steel saber, so... That iron blade didn't last long. Any upgrade is welcome, though. Now, the berserker ring is exactly what it implies. It makes a character berserk, but they'll do extra damage. 
just do regular attack. So it's not not too bad for Chrono, unless of course he needs to heal with Marl. In some cases, it's actually not a bad idea to give it to Luca. Just to increase her damage output for it right now. Shouldn't have to use it very often. And not enough to finish it off. If it heals, we get to do this over again. Now I'm actually going to change up my accessories just a little bit. Change that to the Berserker. I'm going to give Luca the speed belt. And Marl the hairpin. What did that do? Hit, hit plus two. Uh, of course, the increased hit power increases her attack power, but she's not a, mainly an attacker. A steel bow. Yeah, all the all the pe all the previous people realized. Oh, these weapons are useless against the enemies. We'll just leave them behind. But the Berserk Ring is good for Chrono, because of his high speed. And look at that, one shot him. <laughs> Didn't even harm him. But of course, he'll target the girls. And Marl is dishing out a nice amount of damage. For her weapon upgrade. Oh, critical hit. Finish it off, Marl, before he heals. Ah! Yep, Chrono can one-shot at those octopodes octop now. Now, I will be taking the Berserker Ring back off in a bit, but there are some enemies in here where it's very handy to use. And you can one-shot them. Let yeah, let's see if Flame Toss is as bad for these guys as I thought. Worst that can happen is they counter. I have to heal up. Uh, not good for da not good in terms of damage output. Yeah, so we're taking him down fairly quickly. The crow take this one and we'll finish him off. Ah, oh, Marl. Unnecessary critical hit. How are we doing on tech progress? So, yep. Close, close. Uh, okay, yeah. Since Mar oh hasn't been in the party to gain tech points, that's why. Now, if the character's not in the party, yeah, they do gain experience and level up with the rest of the party, but not tech points. Yeah, these shadows, they are strong against physical attacks. That's another good reason to have a wind slash for Chrono, if he doesn't have the Berserker, of course. Yeah, Luca gets to take these guys out. Oh, that guy right there. You can call him a mini boss. A sidearm. I'm gonna assume that's a renamed weapon for Luca. Indeed it is. Unfortunately, her attack power is definitely lower than the others. And more shadows. Can I get both? Nope. I'll just hope for a critical hit, because that should not miss. Counterattack sounds like a hiccup. And here's the crazy thing: even slowed down, Chrono's still fa still the fastest.
I thought there was a chest over here. I was wrong. Yeah, the guy in Tron Dome was basically talking about these shadows more than just the enemies as a whole. Let's go ahead and heal up Chrono. Oh. <laughs> Select Chrono and heal him up. Now, of course, worst comes to worst, you could run away. Yep, Chrono has learned Wind Slash. That would allow him to fight shadows as well if he wasn't berserk. Let's go ahead and fight this guy. So, a mutant. Chrono will hit him and hit him hard. But these guys hit fairly hard in return. They do have a... They do have a fairly nasty attack that will do damage and heal them. But Chrono should finish off first. Big time. Unnecessary critical! Now you may think, oh, if I run away from the mutants, he won't attack us. But no, in this case, you gotta run closer to it. However, I'm gonna fight it anyway. Yeah, it won't get, it won't get the chance to attack again. Ah, uh, not quite enough. So I'll continue to fight just to get my tech points up. Let's go ahead and take the Berserker off Chrono. I need him to be sane for the next boss fight. 